Okay, so we're looking at home loan calculations with the graphics calculator. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here, but we're going to do a fairly simple one here where you calculate the repayments. So go to your TVM mode on your calculator, and then go to compound interest, which is F2. All right, battery's running out. Better get through this. Now, your N is your number of compounding periods. Now, it's not your number of years, so you're going to have to do however many years it is times the number of months. So if it's 30 years, you've got to do 30 times 12, so that's 360. So just be aware of that. A lot of people make a mistake with that one. Not 30 years, 30 times 12 will give you your actual, actual number. All right, so we've got an interest rate of 7.2%. Now, when you type it in, actually type it in as 7.2. Don't convert it to a decimal, okay? 7.2. Now, our home loan is going to be $420,000. That's our present value. And we put that in as a positive number because it's money that came in to us. So 420000 that's the present value of the loan. Now, PMT stands for Payment. Uh, now, that's the payment you're going to make every month. All right. Now, that's going to come through as a negative value because it's money coming out of your pocket. All right. Really running out of battery here. So, after that, we've got our future value. Now, the future value is the future value of the loan. Now, in this case, it's at the end of the loan. So, the future value is just going to be zero. Now, PY stands for uh, payments per year and CY stands for compounding periods per year. They're always going to be the same in the questions we do. And in this case, it's monthly repayment, so it's 12 payment periods per year. Now, we want to find the payment, so we just press that F4 button to find the payment. And that's going to give us an answer of minus $2,850.91. Okay, remember it's negative because it's money coming out of your pocket. It's payments. All right, that's it.